Deputy of New Zealand. Oh, oh. Um, chair, chair. I call Dr Deborah Russell. Thank you, Mr Chair. Mr Chair, I rise to speak to Clause 19D, which inserts Schedule 3 of this Act. And in particular, I wish to speak to the SOPs, a series of SOPs, supplementary order papers, introduced by the opposition. A SOP, a slop, a slip, a slather, a slew, a slaw, a veritable salad of SOPs indicating that all they want to do is mess with the House. Mr Chair, let me read to you one of the SOPs that have been introduced by the Opposition. It's the SOP introduced by the Right Honourable David Carter, talking about horticulture. He wants to introduce an exemption in respect of horticulture. And on the very same form, Mr Chair, the very same form, Virtually the very same words. The Honourable Alfred Naro wishes to introduce an exemption in respect of bananas. Simeon Brown wants one in respect of Monica. Chris Pink wants one in respect of apples. And these are all the same, Mr Chair. Chris Pink goes on to strawberries. Todd Muller is going for kiwi fruit. Melissa Lee is cabbage. All right. Judith Collins is blueberries. Matt King is blackberries. Simon O'Connor is tamarillos. Jean Young is gooseberries. Simeon Brown here again on mandarins. Maureen Pugh has hops. Louise Upston has lavender. Jackie Dean has nectarines. And more to come from Jackie Dean. It's apricot. Jackie Dean can't stop there. Swedes. Lawrence Yule is interested in feed jellies. Dan Bidwar has has raspberries, and then he has tulips, perhaps he's tiptoeing through them. I can understand why the Honourable Jerry Brownlee gave the last speech. He's keen on pine nuts. Simon O'Connor is interested in grapes, and also in almonds. Jonathan Young is interested in exotic, edible mushrooms. Jonathan Young again on plums. Tim van der Molen is interested in corn, and also in maize. Matt Ducey is into quinoa and also into beans and also into peaches. Denise Lee favours cherries and lentils. That's not a good le mix, Denise Lee. Melissa Lee at least has something pretty going for it. It's sunflowers, but also flax. Denise Lee is back with pears and olives. Hamish Walker has wheat and oats. The Honourable Judith Collins has sorghum, sometimes pronounced sour gum. Paul Goldsmith has barley. And, and on it goes, Paul Barley also has rye. Andrew Bailey has potatoes. And hemp, what is Andrew's interest in hemp? And hard nuts, not pine nuts. David Bennett, ah, that's not hold culture. He's going to move on to equine bloodstock. Good on him. But David Bennett also has canola. A healthy man is David Bennett and peanuts. A mix, a melange, a mess. Mr Chair, I suggest that the opposition is messing with the House, messing with this bill. They are not interested in actually debating the substance of this bill. This is simply a way to delay progress. And one can only suggest that they should eat their salad, not present it in the House. Um, I call the Right Honourable David Carter. The opportunity, because I listened to the speaker.